Hello, this is Julian with Coffee Reviews, and today we'll be reviewing the Worry Wash Processed Ethiopia from Kova Coffee Roasters. And that is the cup right there. And if you're familiar with the Portland area, then you probably know that that train is an indication that I am pretty close to Water Avenue, as that train line is just off of Water Avenue. But uh, Kova, first time appearing on this channel, and I guess that's probably pretty surprising, but it just kind of goes to show how many coffee roasters there are out there that we have not had the opportunity to review yet. But uh, yeah, they have a pretty soft spot in my heart. I'm pretty sure a lot of people have noticed that I will wear a Kova shirt. I have a couple of them from time to time in a lot of the reviews. And uh, there's pretty good reason for that. I'll elaborate on that shortly. But uh, they have four locations in the city. There is the Main Street location, which is the location I just left. Really lovely location. It's their flagship store. Got this kind of old school theme to it. And then there's their roastery, which used to be my favorite location to go to, but it's been closed down for quite a while now due to COVID. And then they also have their location on the west side. And then there's one more location. I don't exactly know where it is. I've been to the west side location quite a few times as well. But yeah, the reason I have such a soft spot for Kova in general is because they're unique in their own sense. I've always felt like I'm surrounded by like-minded people when I go to Kova, as I've noticed that in higher proportion to a lot of other coffee shops, most people there will order either an espresso or what they call their drip offering, and uh, I'll elaborate on drip later. And it's been really nice. They'll be there to purchase coffee beans. So I just feel like I'm surrounded by a lot of people that actually really care about the coffee that they're drinking as opposed to some people that will go and order a lot of espresso drinks. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that, but it's just kind of nice to see that so many people really do like their drip offerings, their you know black coffee there in general. But yeah, we're here to discuss this worry. So uh, I asked the uh, barista which one she, she suggested. They had two drip offerings. Now, let me elaborate on their drip offerings because they're very different. So they have their own steel filters that they use and they brew it in the Chemex. So it creates a very different sort of cup of coffee than any other place that you're going to get a cup of coffee from here. And uh, they had a, I believe it was Guatemala, their other offering, but she was really high on this coffee. She said it had this uh, very nice peach-like components to it and the aroma when they were brewing this coffee. So I'm like, yeah, you're definitely selling me on this coffee. Now, in terms of roast profile, they are a lot more developed than a lot of the other coffee roasters in here. Like Rose Line is really, really light. Heart's pretty light. So even then, it's still on the more developed side of that light medium, but it's still definitely a light medium, especially relative to other American coffee roasters. But yeah, this coffee right here, uh, best way I can kind of describe this is it's been a little bit of a roller coaster. It's been a much more complex coffee than I've had from a lot of other places here. Some places have skewed specific directions, whereas this one I feel like has a lot more complexity to it. The most distinct thing I was getting right off the bat was a very strong lime-like taste to it. And they had listed on here a bergamot as one of their flavor notes. And that makes a lot of sense in, in the warmer stages of this coffee. It was definitely very lime-like. But as it has cooled down, it's reminded me a lot more of a peach pie. So it has this subtle florality, definitely has this kind of brown sugar-like component to it. And the peachiness that they had mentioned, yeah, it's there, it's present, and it's very much in the finish in this cup of coffee. As well as a slight bit of grape, they had mentioned the Pinot Noir as one of the flavors notes and that kind of scared me because I don't like wine like a cup of coffees but this in no sense has necessarily reminded me of anything overly whiny. But yeah let's go ahead and put up that tasting wheel so you can see what we are getting and let me go ahead and pull up my uh, brandy wine notes over here. All right so we have a couple of level fours the finish and the cleanliness and I feel like this is a pretty clean cup of coffee and it's interesting for how this cup of coffee is brewed that it came out this way because those steel filters can create an interesting cup of coffee. And then the citrus fruit. Okay, so we actually have three. And as mentioned, the citrus was very dominant in the early stages of this cup of coffee. So that's not too surprising that we have those at a level four. And let's see what else we've got. A bunch of level threes. The sweetness, I feel like I should really bump that up because as the coffee has cooled down, it has gotten a lot sweeter. And I think the reason it had kind of taken away from the sweetness early was because it was a very citric cup of coffee, which is why the bitterness is as high as it was. Obviously made this tasting wheel not too long after the coffee had been brewed. Acidity level three, berry fruit level three mentioned, fair bit of grape in this cup of coffee, stone fruit level three. I still think even at the end, it would be at the higher side of that level three. I don't think I would be comfortable bumping it all the way up to a level four, but it's definitely present in that very strong finish in this cup of coffee. Caramel level three, body level three. It's on the lower side of that level three, higher side of the level two. Based off of the uniqueness of it being a Chemex and that seal filter, it was always gonna create this kind of more interesting body cup of coffee. Um, I mentioned the bitterness for the uh, citrus in the cup of coffee and slight bit of a lot of other things slightly salty slightly spicy slightly smoky but yeah that's essentially i think uh the coffee has changed a lot so the tasting wheel 
probably changes a little bit as the coffee has cooled down. The citrus definitely lowers, probably even to this point on the low side of a level three, so you can see some pretty significant changes in this cup of coffee. Overall thoughts and impressions of it? I mean, I actually quite like this. This is funny that I drank this worry on the back of having just drank a heart worry, and I do prefer this one just because of the wide range of flavors that are coming from this coffee and a little bit more complexity that's coming from it as well. You're getting two really nice different cups of coffee, both of which I enjoyed from the same cup in one sitting, and that's been really fun. And that's another reason why I've always liked Kova's coffees is because you never necessarily know what to expect. I've been a big fan of their Colenso, which has been a uh, natural processed Ethiopia that they've had for a very long time, and every time they've made it for me in the cafe. It's been a really good cup of coffee. So I got to give kudos to uh, Kova. I think they did a really nice job with this coffee. Type of person I would suggest this one to. If you really like the lime, think about that at the higher temperatures, because I thought that the citrus in this was in pretty significant abundance. But then that secondary cup that you're getting with these kind of peach pie-like tastes to it, I really enjoyed that. I enjoyed both of them, but that's kind of cooled down cup of coffee that I'm experiencing right now. is one of the better cups of coffee I've had during this trip in Portland. I think I'll leave this review at that. If you've by chance had an opportunity to try this worry, we'd love to know your thoughts and impressions of it as well. Motorcycle going by. If you're enjoying the content, give this video a like, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. This right here has been a review of the Worry Wash Processed Ethiopia from Kova Coffee Roasters. Thank you for watching.